Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jolie Greenbaum. I'm the Executive Assistant at New York Immigration Law. And today we're going to be discussing the importance of being truthful in your electronic travel authorization applications or ETA applications. So if you're not a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident of Canada, and you come from a visa exempt country, such as many European countries, you're required to submit your ETA application before traveling to Canada. So the application itself is actually very simple. It can be done online within 10 to 15 minutes, and it only costs $7. And the application itself consists of very simple background questions, but there are questions pertaining to your criminal and immigration history. And it's really important to keep in mind that throughout the entire application, you, you remain truthful, but particularly questions pertaining uh, to the sections regarding criminality and immigration history that you are truthful. The reason being that we've had clients in the past where they have lied on their ETA applications and the ETA is still issued and we've heard stories like this happening to other applicants where they've decided to omit information uh, regarding their criminal background or they've decided to lie about having immigration history in Canada such as previous refusals and therefore the ETA can still be issued but then they have then encountered uh, problems when they actually cross the border into Canada. What happened would be that they crossed the border because the ETA was issued, so they were allowed to travel to Canada, but they were pulled aside by immigration, and quickly the border officers are able to determine that they lied in their ETA application, and this causes much bigger issues. So if you're lucky, you can fall on an officer that might just give you a warning, but worst case scenarios and what we've experienced is that clients are often issued either a uh, removal order or an exclusion order, if they decided to lie on their applications. So it's important to keep in mind that even though the ETA can be issued if you lie, um, immigration can often connect the dots and figure out that you've lied, and if on the off chance they pull you aside when you cross the border, you will encounter much bigger issues. So rather than lying on your application, if you have some sort of immigration history in Canada or criminal background, contact a lawyer first instead of lying on the ETA. Don't fall back on the fact that, yes, the ETA might be issued uh, if I lie, because if, again, like I was saying, you get stopped at the border, you're going to encounter much bigger issues, and there will be a flag on you any time you try to enter Canada. So if you have any concerns regarding this, please contact a lawyer first before applying for your ETA application. So if you have any questions regarding ETA applications, do not hesitate to contact your office, and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.